Hi, this is Mike from Microsoft Box and Reviews and How To, and on today's video, we're going to take a look at how to install Windows 11 without using a Microsoft account or a Microsoft password. This is one of those things where the goalposts keep on changing, and if you want to get to the quick answer, you don't want to watch the video, it's all going to be in the video description below, so you can read that. Also, there will be links in there as well for premiumcdkeys.com forward slash Mike's Unboxing, where you can pick up a super cheap Windows 11 license especially if you're gonna be going for the Pro Edition, which you're gonna to have to in order to use this fix. So straight out of the gate, this will not work with Windows Home Editions, only with Windows Professional Editions. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is to get your USB key ready with the Windows Media Creation Tool, get that all set up, get it installed, start the process as you would normally, and then you'll see what is on the screen at the moment. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is to click on the bottom section where it says, I don't have a license key, then on the next set of options, you'll be prompted with the type of Windows you want to install. So choose Windows 11 Professional, and then let it reboot a couple of times, and then you'll be having the screen, which we've got right here. So let's go to the computer, and let's finish this off. So at this point, we can choose our settings. So we're in the United Kingdom, so I'm gonna choose United Kingdom, and obviously choose your correct layout. Skip the additional. Windows will check for updates, so let it just do its thing. You'll get a notification to say that your PC will restart before you can continue further. So at this point now you can name your device, so I'm just going to call this Ryzen. At this point it will try and connect you to a network, so if you're on a wired connection it should identify itself. Alternatively, if you're on Wi-Fi it will probably ask you for your Wi-Fi SSID to be confirmed and also to enter your Wi-Fi password. So go ahead and do that, and when you're ready, click on Next. Okay, so next we've got this part of the setup. So traditionally, if you're a home user, or majority of users, to be honest with you, you'd choose this one here, set up for personal use, and it says use a Microsoft personal account to get set up and have full control over this device. But we're gonna choose this one, set up for work or school. Now you may not be at work and you may not be at school, but this is actually a kind of a workaround. So we're gonna choose this one, click on next. And on this section here, normally you'd put in your Microsoft account or your business account. Just click on sign in options and click on join domain or domain join instead. Type in your name, just gonna choose test and click next. Enter password if you want to. I'm just gonna click on next. And there we go. Then you can continue with the rest of the setup as you would normally. And very soon you will be back onto your Windows desktop. Again, it'll check for some updates, reboot the computer, and yeah, you should be back into Windows. Okay, so there you go. There is a nice and easy way of setting up Windows 11 professional. You have to have the professional version. And obviously just following those simple steps, it thinks you're gonna be trying to join a domain after you've completed setup, which obviously, most of you probably won't be, but if you want to, obviously you can do, that is entirely down to you. So don't forget, has to be the Windows 11 Professional that you choose at the beginning of the installation. And also, if you want a really, really cheap Windows 11 Professional license key, check the links in the video description for premiumcdkeys.com forward slash Mike's Unboxing. Use the discount code Mike's Unboxing and you'll get a further discount off the already ridiculously cheap prices for the Windows 10 and Windows 11 Professional keys, should you need them. And also Microsoft Office, if that is something you might be interested in also. So that's going to wrap this video up. I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To. And hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.